And uh, I'm going to also eat peas. Yes, I know peas are made for shepherd's pie, but do you realize how long it's going to be before we're going to be able to make shepherd's pie? So we're eating the peas now because a can of peas in the hand is better than two shepherd's pies in the bush. Remember that, boys and girls. Welcome back, everybody, to the Insane Nightmare 7 Days to Die tutorial. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue uh, trying to secure the firehouse here. Uh, so in the last episode, we, we were going up on the roof, and we kind of had some bad luck, and we actually died a couple times, um, though the first death was sort of kind of not my fault. It was more of a, a little glitch thing. The second death was most definitely my fault. Um, so I think before we continue trying to secure the roof... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, break into this other room here and get this secure and then we'll then we'll tackle the roof after that. Okay, so we've busted this. Um, let's go ahead and deal with you. Got him. Okay. So, what do we got going on in here? There's, oh, there's a zombie down below. A Ronnie McDonnie. It's a toolbox. Oh, nice. We need both of those to make a workbench. We'll probably hang on to them for that very purpose. Uh, we could use the wrench a little bit, though. All right, so there's some stuff down there. Uh, we have two Zeeks that I can see down there. So I think what we'll do is we'll fight them through here. So let's get Ronnie McDonnie's attention first. We're just going to put that there. Uh, you know what? He's, uh, or rather, I need to get my sledgehammer um, repaired. So let's upgrade that. Otherwise, he's going to break it really quickly. There we go. Okay. All right. He's dead. So we're just going to take this back out again. Because once we get this cleared, you know, we'll probably just make this a normal doorway anyway. Okay. I don't have any more arrows, uh, but we have stuff to make arrows. So, yeah. Let's do it. We'll make 16 more. Okay, so let's tag this guy next. Maybe we'll just upgrade this one level. See, that's why I like the sledge, so because it's got a pretty good uh, chance to, to knock him down. There you go. Not bad. Probably could have even done that without upgrading the frame at all, but let's not take any chances. Okay, still here in sleepers. I think, yeah, there's one down there. But there also might be some over in that corner. So let's quietly walk around this way and check. Okay, I don't see anybody over that way. So we've got Arlene right there. And I think that's it from what I can tell. These are not lootable. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get her. And this time we're not going to even bother to upgrade the frame. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and 
very quietly go down here and see if there's any more Zombaruskis. Okay, I think we're clear down here. 40 nails, that's nice. Don't see anything in those places. So let's loot this stuff. We got some medical supplies. Oh, nice, a beaker. That was actually a good find. Some ammunition. Uh, all right, some armor that we're probably not going to wear immediately just because of the slowdown effect and the noise that it creates. So we're going to hang on to it because we will eventually armor up, but now is not the time to do that. Uh, we'll keep this and we'll keep one of these and we'll scrap this one and this one. It'd be fan freaking tastic if we could find a bicycle chassis in here. Nope, but we do have a little bit of an upgraded axe, so that's good. We need to do points too, by the way. All right, so that takes care of down here. Now, we just have to have the roof to clear. So let's get that taken care of so that we can settle into this place and make it our, our base. Um, So that's the room up above that we saw through the window, but we can't get up there ourselves. So let's go back this way and back up through here. I'm going to drop a couple things off whilst we're here. Let's put all the armor in here for now and anything we don't need to be carrying around at the moment. A recog was a nice find as well. I'm going to keep the wrench with me. We'll probably use it, but uh, at least until we get to the point where we're ready to uh, make a workbench. All right, so now... Um, we tried to go out this way before, and it didn't go so well for us because of the fact that we weren't able to... I'm going to grab some of these frames back. We weren't able to, you know, uh, keep the zombies blocked in. So I think I'm going to break through this door here, and we're going to go through this way. All right. We've got the attention of some dudes downstairs. We probably better deal with them. Can we get him to come over here? Here he comes. All right, he's dead. Let's go back up. All right, let's take a peek in here. Okay, so this room seems to be clear. Uh, we know, though, that we do have Zombos up on the roof. So I'm wondering if maybe what we ought to do is block this for the moment so they can't fall down on our head. All right, and then this door is unlocked. So this probably just leads outside to the lower part of the roof, I'm guessing. And we got a flashlight. Okay, so we got somebody's attention and they're at this door here. So let's put that there and help him out. We pretty much kept him stun locked the whole time, so he wasn't able to hit the frame at all. All right, let's get rid of these. And what we can do now is if we can get the attention of the final Zombo or Zombo's up on the roof. This is the guy that killed us the the second time anyways. 
Uh, we could probably retreat back through here. Right, let's get this ready to go. Yeah, we know there's Zeke's up on top there. Oh, I got an idea. Let's go back through here. And I'm just going to keep that there for now. Maybe we'll upgrade it to just one level. Yeah, I don't want to go up that way. That's too risky. But what we could do is go up through this little steeple area again like we did when we first got to this building. Okay, so that's where the the other zombie was, but I'm not actually seeing him there now. Oh, nice. We got some vitamins. Uh, okay, so are we... I think we're... Cl I think we're clear. Okay, we could make cloth armor because cloth armor doesn't... Yeah, we're clear. Uh, cloth armor doesn't uh, slow us down or make any noise. And it does give us a little more protection than not having any armor at all. But it does require duct tape. So it's uh, that's something we have to consider. All right. I think we're good. I think we've cleared this area. And uh, this is now our base. We have made it our base. Get these frames picked back up here. All right, now, um, I think the next thing I want to do is I want to... I think I want to live um, on the upper floor. Let me go... Let's go look outside here again for a minute. Is there? There's not really any way that anything from down below can get up here. So it's just, in general, going to be safer if we live on the second floor here. This is no longer necessary either. So what we're going to do is we're going to secure the stairs. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to move all the stuff that I have in the kitchen down below up, up to here. And then we should be pretty safe. I might take these rails out and extend the floor out that way a little more too. Okay, sounds like we got somebody else's attention here. So we'll just keep killing these guys for XP as they come in and try to be a pain in the butt. Okay, he did. Let's repair that. There wasn't anything really in here, right? Yeah, this is just a restroom. A couple things down here we could salvage um, at some point if we want to. Not really anything in here that we need, except for, again, a few things we could salvage. So... Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna break these stairs out then, and uh, probably wrench a few things too. Let's go ahead and just put these on. There's no reason not to. And um, get kind of kind of get this area secured, and then when that's done, I'll bring you guys back, and then we're gonna go out and about and start uh, working on that uh, quest that we have that's 1.2 clicks away from here. All right, guys, we're back and uh, ready to head on out. So I put a couple of chests up here. Um, this is like resources, tools. This is like food, medical, uh, armor, ammo at the at, at present. But, I'll, you know, I'll be making more of those, of course. We made a campfire here. <laughs> oh, excuse me, my goodness. I was going to make a forge, but I don't have enough stuff to make enough duct tape to make a forge. So we're going to have to just uh, get that stuff um, as we go out. But I did cut down one more tree, harvested some more clay, uh, picked some chrysanthemums and um, some uh, cotton. And I turned the cotton into cloth here 
So as soon as we can get enough duct tape to first make a forge and then after that make uh, cloth armor, we'll be in good shape uh, for that. Okay, so it is noon. Now these uh, stairwells here were 2,000 hit points, so I, I just took the bottom one out um, and then put some blocks here with the little ladder uh, for us to get up that way. I mean, unless we like got overrun by a big horde, the zombies aren't likely to get in here anyways. If we just get onesie twosies, we're going to just take them out ourselves. But never, nevertheless, uh, we do have a relatively safe place. Okay, so our goal is to head on out and uh, do this quest. So let's take a look at our map here for a second. Uh, we're basically heading to the northwest there, and that's going to be quite a trek. But we've got, uh, we've got wood frames. We've got cobblestone uh, there. And uh, so we'll just use our little frame trick as we're uh, out and about uh, to avoid zombies as much as we can. So because we're still not really at the point yet where we can start taking them on head to head. We need we basically need a full set of armor for that, at least at the very least, <clears throat> and preferably a little bit better weapon than what we currently have. Speaking of which, we didn't actually do our points yet either. So let's hunker down here and take a look at our points. Uh, so we have one point to spend. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that into, you know, the thing is, is we really need to, to get a vehicle as quickly as possible. So I'm thinking we should probably just stick with intellect because we're going to need to get to a tinkerer to make a workbench unless we luck out and find one. And that requires intellect four. And then we're going to have to get to at least grease monkey or, or bicycle mechanic, which only takes intellect level two actually oh yeah you know what so we don't uh well if we can find a workbench we'll be we'll be actually be able to make the bicycle sooner but let's go ahead and just take intellect two so that we can actually take you know when we get our next point we can take grease monkey one and if we luck out and find a workbench we can make the bike if not then we're just going to keep getting it you know getting it up there until um you know we can make the workbench and then go from there I, I often will, in this game, actually skip the bicycle altogether and go right to the mini bike. But if we have the opportunity to make the bicycle before we're ready to do that, I think we should just make it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help us quite a bit. All right, let's head to our quest destination, and we're just going to be cool and quiet here. I'm not really too terribly worried about being caught out at night. If we get caught out at night, we get caught out at night. It's not that big of a deal because the zombies run all the time anyways. But like I did say... They are more dangerous at night. There's more ferals at night. So, but that doesn't mean we can't handle it. We just have to play it smart. All right. So we've got a mountain to go over. Mountains are not ideal because, you know, zombies will spawn on them and we're not on flat terrain and it could, uh, it could be hard to deal with that. So I'm thinking we might actually want to go around this mountain uh, for now and stay down, you know, where it's relatively flat. I just don't want to go into the friggin' snow biome. No, that's the main thing. Okay, so we got a Zombo that way. It's just an Edgar. We're not worried about Edgar because we can easily outrun him. So Edgar can just do whatever the hell Edgar does, and we're not going to really worry about him so much. So, yeah, we're going to work our way kind of around this way. I'm not going into the snow biome. I'd rather go up the mountain than into the snow. That's definitely the lesser of two evils. And just kind of, you know, play it safe and try and get... There's a businessman over there. A uh, businessman is, is fast, so he's he's pretty dangerous because of the fact that he's fast. Uh, but anyway, we're going to just try and work our way to the quest location and get there as quickly and as safely as we possibly can.
want to be careful of is any terrain that you can't see over the top of, uh, like right here on this bank. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just randomly throw a rock over there just in case there is a Zombo right on the other side to kind of get it going in the opposite direction. Alright, there's uh, the stripper zombie. She's really fast and really dangerous, so let's get her packing on down the road there, man. Packing on down the road. So this looks like a, a new town. It's nice and far away from the snowbound. If we could find a trader in or near this town, I would move here in a heartbeat compared to where we're currently at. Lots more POIs here, too. Um, So, yeah, we might... Uh, we might stick around here for a little bit, even after we do the quest, and just see uh, what the deal is here. That's pretty good loot. But, all right, well, Burt's Brewery, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'm actually not super familiar with this place, and I'm not going to try and double loot it anyways. Um, so, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Not sure where we're supposed to go in at. That door's locked. Usually if we can find like um you know a light pointing the way, that's what we're looking for. This is a pretty sizable POI for a tier one. That door's locked as well. Got a zombo down this way. That door's locked. I'm not going to uh, loot the dumpster right now. It just makes too much noise. All right, so I'm guessing we have to go in from the top. Um. All right, if we run into Zekers up top there, we could in a bit of a bind. So I think what we'll do in that case is... Uh, actually, you know what we could do first? Let's uh, let's nerd pull up there really quick. I'm going to make some more wood frames too. Um, and just kind of look before we actually go up there. Marlene here keeps coming our direction. We might end up needing to just kill her. She's uh, she's actually outrunnable. She's fast, but she's not faster than we are, as long as we have enough stamina. So we could outrun her if we needed to. All right, so I'm not seeing any Zeke's. Here, but let's go up a little higher. Um, 
I want to actually... Look up on top of these things. Okay. So just want to make sure there was nothing up on top of those barrel things. Um, beer tanks, I'm guessing. So again, we're just using the environment as much as we can to keep ourselves safe. All right. So I think we're good to get to that door. What we might do, too, is we might secure... The stairwells on both sides for zombies that might, you know, come up from down below. Okay, let's close that for the moment. That door's locked. Okay, let's do this. Let's secure this stairwell. I always like to go two blocks down because zombies can't jump. All right, I think we're good to uh, proceed from here. Is there anything inside of these? Oh. Oh my goodness, there could be zombos inside of here. Never even thought about that. Yowzers. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's take a look and see what's in here. Get rid of that first. Oh shit. <laughs> He's right there. Okay, let's put that there. He's dead. Give that a little repair. Okay, so we're clear up to those stairs there. All right, we can work with this. We can work with this. I'm going to put a frame there just to slow anybody down that you know detects us and tries to run up the stairs and we have um there isn't like a ladder here is there there's stairs down there but they're broken okay yeah i've actually i know this poi's been here for a while but i haven't really been in it much i, I think i've been in it before but i just don't remember do we get anything besides just wood from these? No, nope, just wood. Okay. It's a thousand hit points. There's some food up here, which we could definitely use. Okay. I don't see any Zombaruskis down below. <clears throat> So let's start very carefully making our way down here, but we just want to uh, be able to block stuff off. Do we see anybody at all through here? I can't really tell. Let's get uh, this on our toolbar. So both you and I can see better. All right, so I don't see anybody down at all in this room here. Can we uh, get a frame? I just can't quite get over there. There. Again, that's just a temporary barricade for anybody that tries to come through that way. Let's 
get out, get this out of the way. Okay, let's see if we can get to that op <clears throat> that opening there and get that secured. And then we can just kind of, you know, hold on a second. The basic idea is, you know, work your way through the building and secure your, you know, secure where you're at as you go along. Pretty, pretty basic stuff, of course. But, <clears throat> you know, again, we're just not equipped yet at this point to just go in guns blazing, right? Okay, so we have an open doorway there, so we're going to block that. Oh, I guess that isn't an open doorway. That's just a doorway from the outside. Okay, let's block this. Uh, is that a sleeper up there? No, I don't think so. I think that's trash. Okay, so there's a sleeper. I think it's an Edgar right there. So what we're going to do is... Didn't quite get the head there. We wake him up. There we go. Okay, let's run back up here. We'll let her break the, the blocks to get through. Actually, you know what? I think we can just take her out. Let's upgrade that to one level. Okay, get our stamina back. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so she's dead. Got some Sambles wandering around outside. Okay, so she's hitting. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised she's not hitting the door, because usually they go for the door. That's that same Marlene that was walking around outside earlier. Okay, let's get our stamina back up while she keeps hitting the door. She's not doing much damage to it, is she? Let's upgrade this one level. Got somebody else's attention on this door. This one's going to take a little bit longer to break down. Somebody else over that way. All right, let's upgrade this one level. Get this repaired. Okay. Let's proceed here. So I don't think there's anybody else in this room. 
because we probably would have woken them up by now. Let's hope I'm right about that. That sleepy could be right up, abo up above us. Yeah, it is uh, because we got the red dot there. Got some water. Always a good thing. I think that's part of their body sticking through the floor there. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to block off this. Again, just a temporary measure there and I need to see if I can see the red dot shows right there yeah I think that's their foot Let's just take Marlene up here. Okay, getting close. Getting close. Just making sure there's nothing else up here. Got a doorway there that we want to block. Got some sewing kits, that's good. Um, aren't we already wearing a shirt? Oh, no, we're not. Okay. I think we found... Um, uh, I guess the boots. I thought we had also found another piece of clothing, but maybe not. Okay, let's, um, take a quick... This door is closable, right? Yeah. Quick peek in here. Oh, shit. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Look at that big chandelier up there. Okay, so I don't see any Zeeks up on that balcony there. Is this whole floor, like, collapsible? Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Oh, it's probably those boards there. Yeah. There's a dot down there, but I don't, need, I don't see a Zomba down there. There's an ammo pile. I've got a little tiny upgrade spear. Let's get rid of the glass. Get rid of that. I think I'm going to chuck that too. We've got like several uh, iron 
uh, nodes right next to the house, so we don't need to be carrying that around right now. Okay, well, there's nobody else up here. That door's locked. This And this is obviously the end room here, so let's go back down through this way. There's probably a zombie there, but it's just not spawned in, or we can't see it, or something's weird. <clears throat> I've seen the game do that before. I'm not sure though exactly why. Oh. Oh. Okay, is that an, a Marlene? All right, here's what we're going to do then. We're going to put these down here. Let's put uh, you right there so we can see what we're doing. Let's pull these back up. Oh, that's a Ronald McDonald. Okay. If it's just him, I'm not really too worried about him. Let's take him out. Ooh, is that a feral? I don't think so. thought I saw glowing eyes for a minute there. Okay, that's not the only one. There's still more. Right there. Okay. Let's just do the same thing we did before. That isn't going to get his attention. What we might be able to do is that there and put that there give me my arrow We did it. We've cleared the place. Yeah, yes. Okay. So that, uh, it takes a little while, you know, in the early game, but uh, that's how you need to do it, really. And, you know, if you don't want to die, if you want to survive <laughs> when you're at, at the place that we're at. Okay, we're thirsty, so let's go ahead and drink a water here. And uh, I'm going to also eat... Peas, yes, I know peas are made for shepherd's pie, but you realize how long it's going to be before we're going to be able to make shepherd's pie? So we're eating the peas now because a can of peas in the hand is better than two shepherd's pies in the bush. Remember that, boys and girls. Uh, I'm going to eat a chili, too, just because we are pretty far down on, um, on food. Okay, anything in here to loot? We got that. In a purse with not a damn thing in it. Okay, let's check the good loot. Come on, give us a first aid bandage. And it's not a first aid bandage. See what the working stiffs has. Some iron tools would be nice. All right, we're going to scrap a doodle that. More medical stuff. We got a splint. Ammo display case. Okay, we've got some iron arrow ammos and a ball cap mod. That's not so bad. Put that stuff to use. And now let's look up here. Gun rack. Is that any better than the one we currently have? No, they're both exactly the same. Um, yeah, we'll just scrap this one then. And then finally, the good look. Give us a blunderbuss, please. Nope, there's no blunderbuss in there. But we do have cloth armor, so that's good. I don't think we need this. We'll take the rest of that for now. So our dude now has, um, we just need leg armor and glove armor, and then he'll be fully armored with cloth. Uh, so that's good. That's good. That means we can actually take a couple hits if we need to. Oh, uh, let's see what we got over here. Nothing, nothing. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. So the plan for the next episode is we're going to actually stay in this town 
and see if we can locate another trader, a trader that's closer by, because this town is so much better than one you know we're currently in. In fact, we're not really even in a town at all. Well, we are, but it's it's on the edge of the snow bomb, and we don't want to you know do snow bomb stuff uh, for now. So. Um, yeah, the plan will be that we'll just start the next episode and we will look around for a trader. And if we could find one in this town, uh, I mean, honestly, even if we can't, I still might stay here anyway, because, you know, we're going to pretty soon we're going to get a vehicle, a bicycle, and then later a mini bike and so on and so forth. And we can just ride to the trader if we have to. So I'm pretty sure one way or the other, we're going to stay here. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Um, and we do have a membership going on the channel. So if you, uh, hit that join button, you can see, uh, three different tiers that we offer with different perks for each tier. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, I'd be very glad to have you as a member on the channel. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.